G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography, the easy way for landscape photographers to learn Photoshop, the new and improved way to learn Photoshop. So in this video, I have the easiest, the simplest and the fastest way to replace a sky within Photoshop. Check this out. We're going to replace this sky here. Okay, so not easy. Um, or you wouldn't think it would be easy, but we're going to certainly make it that way because we have to replace not only the sky, but the reflections in the water. And to make it even more difficult, or to prove how easy the difficult can be, we're going to replace it with this incredible sky, completely different sky right here. Now, to prove how easy and simple this can be, I'm going to attempt to do this in, oh, let's say 90 seconds, a minute and a half. So what I'll do is I'll race through the technique and then we'll come back and we'll start again and I'll step you through the process so you can understand exactly what we're doing. Now, if you want to learn a complete workflow for landscape photography, you know, boost your confidence, achieve your vision and save time with this incredible landscape photography workflow for Photoshop, check out easywayphotography.com.au. Okay. Let me uh, just reach for my phone here and start the stopwatch because I want to see, you know, how long I can actually do this in. I'm going to race through this technique as fast as possible. Here we go. Ready, set, let's go. All right, copy, paste. Turn it off. Click on the background layer. Quick selection tool. Quick buzz like that. Select and mask. Run across that edge with the refined edge brush. Done. Click OK, that's our mask. Click up there, add the mask, unclip, click on that one, and we'll adjust our sky. Looks good. Duplicate the layer. We don't need that mask. Delete the layer mask. We'll also Command T, flip vertical, so it's roughly in position. Something like that, I guess. OK, turn those layers off, back on the background layer. Quick selection, same process again, select and mask, refine the edge. Okay, this is incredibly powerful. Click OK, click up on that layer, add the mask. Turn that on, turn that on, unclip that. Click on the sky layer or the reflection layer and we'll just adjust that. That looks pretty close. Okay, how'd we go? We're under a minute. Let's go. We just need to do one more refinement. Duplicate that. We'll zoom in. You'll see a little bit of fringing. See that there? Let's fix that up. Grab the burn tool and burn away the fringe. Okay. Done. Sky replaced, bang on 90 seconds. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it, but let's take a look. Here is before and here is after. 90 seconds, we've got an incredible sky replaced. You wouldn't even know that that wasn't the sky on the day. Um, absolutely beautiful. If we zoom down into the reflections down the bottom here, you can see, you know, absolutely seamless. I could mask off that rock maybe a little bit. Everything else is gorgeous. Okay, so let me go back to the start and we'll run through this step by step so you can add this to your weaponry for replacing skies. I mean, this is not an easy sky to replace. You'd normally have a bunch of troubles, but with this technique, it's a piece of cake. All right, delete that. Let's go. We'll take it quite slowly now. So you've got your original ba base layer, if you like, here. And what we want to do is open up you know, the base layer, the background layer, or the image that you wish to replace the sky in, and then also open up in Photoshop the sky that you wish to, you know, add into the base layer, which is this beautiful sky here. And in actual fact, if you look at your email that I sent out with this particular tutorial, I've given you both of these images so you can follow me along and play with the same images that I'm using here, okay? And then once that's done, you know, go ahead, use one of your own images, one of your own skies and try and replicate the process and I'm sure you'll find it to be a relatively straightforward, fuss-free, easy way to replace a sky very quickly and accurately. Okay, so let's step through. You can open up these two images yourself if you like. Just open them both separately into Photoshop and 
On the sky layer here, we need to press Command or Control A, that will select all. Command or Control C, to copy. Click back on our background or our base layer here, Command or Control V. OK, and that will paste down like so. We'll turn the sky off for now. Click back on the background layer. Grab our quick selection tool. Now, of course, within easywayphotography.com.au, as I mentioned before, an incredible workflow course. And I go right into the details of all of these techniques, including the quick selection tool. So I won't bore you with that right now, but basically it's an incredible tool. You need to make sure the plus symbol is clicked here generally. That's the default. All sample layers unchecked, auto enhance unchecked, and you're ready to go. Basically, just across the top of the sky and let quick select do the rest. Look at that, just snaps down on the horizon quite beautifully. Click select and mask. And the second tool down. Now, this is a relatively recent uh, addition to Photoshop. So, if you haven't upgraded to CC 2018 or even 2017, still has it. And some of the earlier ones did too, but it is relatively recent, this panel. And again, I go into this within the quick selection tutorial about everything here and what that does. For this particular technique, we need the second tool down on the left here, the Refine Edge Brush. Okay, and we'll just make that a little bit smaller. You can see I've got 100 pixels here for this. And we're just going to run along the edge. And what you'll see, let me zoom in. Let's go to an obvious section like here. See that tree is not in the selection currently. And there's little bits of sky in between the leaves that are not quite right as well. Look at that, like magic. So it's just a case with a smallish brush, just run along your horizon like so. And this will give you the most accurate selection ever. Now normally I run directly from left to right, but in that case, we did it a bit back to front, but anyway, click OK. Your mask is now refined. Click on your sky layer and then click down. Uh, this little rectangle with a circle in it is the add mask. Once we add mask, it will grab the live selection. You can see the marching ants here. It'll grab that and add it directly to that layer mask there. That's perfect. If we turn that on, we can see the new sky in behind, which is exactly what we want. Now, we want to move that sky into position, but if we move it with the mask clipped together, there's a paper clip here, it's going to move the mask too. So unclip the mask, click on the sky icon there, little sky icon, grab the move tool, and we can move that mask or move that sky. Now, of course, you could resize this sky um, if it wasn't quite the right size. Again, all those complete details are within the easy way course. We're done. Next step, duplicate the sky layer. Command or Control J. We'll remove that second mask. Right click and delete layer mask. I mean, we can double click on this text here and call this one sky layer if you like. And this one can be reflections. Oops, I've spelled that wrong. Re Reflections. Hopefully that's right. I'm not a great speller, I must admit. Now, click back up onto that reflections layer. We're going to produce the reflection in the water now. Command or Control T gives us free transform. Right click within the free transform box or on top of the image and select flip vertical. That's going to give us that aspect. Just drag it down roughly, you know, where we think it's going to go. Somewhere there will do. Click the thank you very much button at the top of the page or hit enter or return. Turn the two skies off again. Click on the background and repeat the quick selection process. Boom. Click select and mask. Same tool. We'll make it a little bigger this time. Run along that edge. Okay, perfect. Click OK. Click back on our reflections layer and add a layer mask again, this little rectangle with a circle in it. We can turn those layers both back on now. Oh, look at that. I nearly nailed it right in the right spot pretty much. But if it wasn't, unclip the layers, click on the reflections sky layer, 
grab the move tool and we can move that around that looks pretty good last step as I said if we zoom in it looks great from a distance but when we get in a little bit of fringing here okay and that's because the old sky was brighter than the new sky now we could darken up our foreground and brighten up our sky a little that would work too but a nice neat way to do this is to duplicate our background layer and we can even name this one fringe burn just so we know what it is okay grab the burn tool okay which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen the fourteenth tool down click on that one now if you can't see the little kind of fist with a hole in it a right click that particular tool it might have the dodge tool like that if we right click select burn tool okay now look to do it properly we could probably use the highlights range that's going to work on the highlights without really touching the midtones or the shadows but for speed sometimes the midtones works a little better but let's see how the highlights go yeah see it's taking a long time I mean I could turn the exposure right up is that going to help a little bit let's go to midtones turn the exposure back down to around 50 that's better okay now you'll notice it will darken up the edges of the um, trees and leaves a little too that's generally not a big deal just run that over a couple of times better off with a big brush than a small brush again because it will blend much much more nicely with a bigger brush won't leave a, a you know a, a horrible kind of a line where you've just painted something like that and we're done okay so that is the 90 second sky replacement incredible technique try it on your own images practice on these images that I've given you via email once again thanks for watching along and as I said if you're interested in a complete workflow for landscape photography that's going to save you time help you achieve your vision and boost your confidence within your own photography, check out easywayphotography.com.au. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.